Hey guys, today's Monday. We're gonna be doing a total body a strength day. Um, this is also our last week. We'll be doing some YouTube videos for you guys as well. So let's get after this. Today's warm up. We're gonna start standing up. We're gonna go into so our shoulder circle circles. So palms down, little mini guys to start. Keep it at good posture, chest up. Keep it there. We're gonna open up a little bit now with the arm circles, a little bit bigger. Slow them down, increase your range of motion. Once you guys go to max range, reverse it, starting small again. Looking good. Slowly build them up to be bigger and bigger. We want our, a lot of heat in our back while we're doing this, guys. You should be feeling your warm up in the shoulder blades. All right, relax that. Let's go squat to overhead reach. We're sinking down. As I come up, I'm gonna rotate across my shoulders. Alternating back and forth. A few more. From here, we're gonna go into alternating forward lunges. Remembering how to rotate our arms back and forth. And let's switch over. Forward lunge, opposite arm, opposite leg. Push back and return. We're gonna keep going here, but the next thing we got is gonna be a walkout, including a push-up. So we're gonna have wide feet, walk our hands out in front of us, and do a single push-up. Every time you guys come up from the push-up, we're gonna start back into the standing position. So standing up, here we go to switch. Hands walk out, one good push-up. Even if you need to be on your knees, that's fine. Walk it back and stand up, and continue that pattern. And I'm on my third one, I'm trying to get five total here. Last one. As I finish, I'm gonna stay down on the ground, drop to my knees. Let's go right into fire hydrants. I'm gonna alternate back and forth, opening up my hips. Keep it under control. Three, two, and one. Keeping both hands down, let's bring one leg straight back. This is a reverse leg raise. And switch. Last thing on the ground, we're gonna go into that thread the needle. Take one arm, wide stance with the knees. Let's rotate our shoulders down. We're only trying to get some mobility in our upper back. Shoulder drop, elbow raise. After three, we switch sides. Take a deep breath. All right, so we're gonna keep ourselves moving a little bit. We're gonna go into jumping jacks, seal jacks, and flanks to finish up. Keep your heart rate moving, go at your own pace. Here we go, three, two, and one. Regular jacks to start, all the way up, all the way down. We're gonna switch to seals in three, two, one. Palms down, crisscross, and switch. The flings. Three, two, one. All right. Last part of our warm up, we are doing this in sets of five. So we're gonna start out on the ground. If you have a mat, go ahead and get your mat set up. Um, while we're waiting for that to happen, let's go over what we're doing here. It's a 10 rep knee grab into a five, sorry, into a three rep push up. That's one set. We're gonna get through five sets as fast as possible. So knee grab for 10, push up for three, get right back in it again and again. We're doing that for five sets. I'll keep you guys posted on my rounds. So we're gonna start, knee grabs first. Ready, set, go. Remember to come all the way up and grab your knees, legs and upper body move together.
After your 10th one, we're rolling over. Let's do push-ups. Remember, keep the hips higher than your chest. And right back in it again. That's one round out of five. Back to knee grabs. Two sets down, three to go. Four sets down, one to go. Guys, the goal here is to increase your heart rate and get blood flow everywhere. We are trying to get sweating before we start. So go ahead and finish your five rounds. Catch your breath when you're ready. As you guys finish that up, we're gonna grab a pair of dumbbells, get some water if you need to, and we're gonna be moving into our major lifts after we finish these five sets. All right. So I have a clock on. I want us to recover a little bit, but we don't want to wait too, too long. Getting the heart rate down, getting the muscles ready again is good. We don't want to cool ourselves off. So give yourselves like 30 more seconds off. And what we're going to do to start is with a pair of dumbbells. We're going to be doing renegade rows. So it's going to be a push up with the dumbbells into a, it's going to be a, um, a plank row followed by a push up. So we're going to go push up, right arm and left arm with the plank row. Next push up, start with the opposite arm, left arm to right arm, plank row, into the push up. So we're doing a plank row with both arms with push ups in between each round. This is gonna be for time, so you guys can really work on form. If you only wanna get a few reps in, that's fine. If you're trying to get your heart rate up even higher and you're really good at the form with this and you have lighter weights, go for a amount of reps. So, time off and time on. We're gonna go 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Then we're gonna go 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off, and 10 seconds on, and then we're gonna recover out of it. So each round's gonna drop in time of work, but also we're gonna drop time of recovery as well. All right. And mind you, anyone else that has a like bad wrist or they don't feel comfortable with that push-up perform um, thing first, get a push-up in first, and then stick with one bell on the side to get your rows in, but do something that makes sense for you. Here we go. Find your bells, set them up next to you. Mind you, if you're going heavy, you do not need to go fast. It's about four and first. We got 30 seconds straight in three, two, one. Push up first, row each arm once. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, relax, guys. We got thirty seconds off. Take your time. Shake your arms out. Remember, with these renegade rows, and when we're doing a plank row in general, it's not going to be going up. You're going to see my bell come back from above my shoulder, under my shoulder, to my rib cage. My movement is here. Pull up, don't crank. Keep that in mind. We got five seconds, we're starting again. Remember, this round's shorter. And two, one, begin. Time. 
Time for another round, guys. Come on. Three, two, one. Relax. Hey, this is a shorter break, and then we're trying to, in 10 seconds, let's try to get three reps. That's the goal here. Deep breath. 10 seconds left before we go. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Relax. Nice job. All right. Catch your breath a little bit. We're going back into some other work. That was a lot of us using our shoulders to hold our body weight up. We're gonna kind of flip things over. Laying down on the ground, we're gonna go into floor press next. So the floor press, still using dumbbells, target muscle groups are gonna be mostly our chest and our shoulders again, but different, differently, especially if you have lighter weights, really work on form. In the floor press, your feet are on the ground, your butt's on the ground, your low back is arced off the, off the floor, and your shoulders are pinned back on the ground, leaving your back as kind of like a suspended bridge. Elbows touch the turf each time. We're going dumbbell floor press to start for time. When you're done, if you have a handle, a chair, something to hold on to behind your head, great. If not, use one of your dumbbells. After we do our floor press, three, two, one. If you wanna put a bell back there, hold on to something. We're going into pike ups. Both of this time, you don't necessarily need to hold on to anything, but it's nice to have something to anchor down with. Anyway, this is for time. We're going 30 second floor press, 30 second pike ups. And then we're gonna go 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, just like we did last time. Let's go ahead and grab those weights. Get yourself on the ground. Elbows are touching the turf every rep. Let's plant those feet down. We're starting in eight seconds. Get yourself ready. Three, two, one. 30 seconds right here. Breathe out, tap the weights. Remember, low back is off the ground. Keep digging. Eight seconds left, keep going. We're going right into pike ups. Three, two, one. Ready, clock starts, two, one, begin. Ten seconds left. Three, two, and one. Nice job. The clock's already on for recovery. Our next set's gonna be ten seconds shorter. Keep that in mind. All right, we're going in ten seconds. Back to floor press. Shorter round, trying to go a little faster this time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Keep your pace. Five, four, three, two, one. Set that bell up for place. 20 seconds again, ready, set, go. Five, four, three, two, one, all right. Quick recovery, we have one more round. I know we're fatigued, guys. This is like icing on the cake. You gotta get really good 10 seconds. While fatigued, get your form down. We're going in seven seconds. Here we go. Short round, last it. Ready, set, go.
five, four, three, two, time. All right, planks, last time doing it. Ready, set, go. Three, two, and time. All right, get a quick little wall if you need to. We're gonna change things up in just a second. So, a lot of, we're doing a lot of burst sets right now. The last thing we're gonna do for our chest is a modified push-up if you need to, but we're gonna be doing a push-up into shoulder taps for time. Guys, go to your knees if you need to. Change your push-up to be on a bench or go on the staircase. Push-up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, back down. Push-up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Same timing. We're going to go 30, 20, 10. This is a gas out. Push-ups first. When you're done, we're going to toe touches. If you don't have heavy weight and you want to get your chest involved a little bit more, grab a dumbbell for those toe touches. And instead of just going like this with your hands, Dumbbells in hands, and you're gonna do a chest press every rep. Keep that in mind. Um, this is your final three exercises, final three sets with that same muscle group. We're fatigued, go slow, let's get good form down here. Push ups to toe touches 30 30, 20 20, 10 10. Last detail, remember, shoulder taps between your push ups. All right. I'm setting this up. We got 15 seconds before we start. Let's see here. 10 seconds. All right, hands are getting set up, elbows are rotated down, chin tucked, hips high. Ready? Begin. Breathe out every push-up. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Flip over, toe touches. Ready, set, go. Keep going, breathe, keep your pace. Five, four, three, two, and time. We got 30 seconds off. We're going into rounds of 20 next. I will remind you guys again, especially if this is a lot of the same muscle group. When fatigue kicks in, don't sacrifice form to get the same great push-up on your feet again. Go to your knees, get a good range of motion. Don't crunch the shoulders. You're going in. 10 seconds. Deep breath. Three, two, one. Five seconds. Two and one. All right, we got toe touches, guys. Remember, these rounds are shorter. Three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, and time. I had that same burn, I know it hurts. We got a last round, it's 10 seconds. Try your best to give yourself whatever you got left in the tank. 
Shake those arms out. 20 seconds is going by fast. Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Toe touch, finish. Ready, set, go. Three, two, one. That T-Rex arms. Catch your breath, get a quick sip of water. We're changing things up in just a second. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is total body. We're gonna go half upper, half lower. With a pair of dumbbells, we're gonna go into a split squat position. Not, not a Bulgarian, a regular split squat. So things to look into. Back foot, your toe is tapping. You should be far enough back where your knee drops and it's behind your heel. Next thing, for the forward position, watch this knee now. When I'm doing these split squats, this knee cannot be going inside of your ankle. We are trying to rotate out. If my foot's straight, my knee is slightly outside of it. So we're gonna hold this position. We're going split squat for time. On my switch call, we'll switch legs. After we switch, we're going into a narrow stance, bent over row, chest is higher than hips. Hips are low. Don't let your hips be up like this with a rounded back. We're right here, elbows go behind your rib cage, and we're going double bar, double bell, bent over row. Split squats, the bent rows, all timed. So get ready to dig in. All right. Let's find your position. Get those toes set up now. Our clock's running. We got five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Lean forward. All that weight's on your front leg, guys. Come on. Five seconds. Switching legs in three, two, one. Keep going. We're going better rows of five. Three, two, one, bent row. Three, two, one. Woo! Catch your breath. Hey, if you felt that in your low back at the end there, you gotta commit to your legs a little bit more in that bend over row. I know we think upper body for bend over rows, but your legs are foundation. And so it keeps your back safe. Keep that in mind. We got some time off. <sighs> 20 seconds. All right, set yourselves up, grab onto those weights again, we're getting right back in it. Ready, set, go. Three. Two, switch. Try to avoid using your back leg to help out. Five seconds. Three, two, 
One, rows. Three, two, one. Feeling good. Hopefully. Catch your breath. I know I need to. All right, guys. We got one more round here. And 15 seconds. Ground up weight, we got five seconds. Ready, begin. Three, two, switch. Five, two, one, bent rows. Get that back flat, get a little lower. Three, two, one. Hi. All right. Next thing we got, both bells or single bell if you want to go heavy with a KB. We're going goblet squat next. You can go low arms, you can go high arms, but these are going to be slower than usual. Keep it with my tempo. We're going to go time based and ISO the bottom. So we're going to hold, pop, hold, pop. As soon as we're done, Grab one of your bells, if not uh, your kettlebell, or even both if you want. Afterwards, we're going tricep extension right from there. Goblet squat into tricep extensions. Reminder, the goblet squat will have a pause at the bottom of the lift. Don't let your knees shoot forward and your butt stay stiff. Hips go back, knees line in with your feet. All right, grab one bell, or you can go two, depending on what weight you want to use here. Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. We're holding. Up, holding. Keep it with me. Two, holding. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, two more, nine, on town, got triceps, and ten, bell back, triceps, all the way to ten, at your own pace. Nine, last one, and ten. All right, now is our two lifts. We're gonna do a bit of core between sets. Go ahead and take a seat. These are double-legged V-ups. Two variations. You guys can do the traditional double-legged V-up where you're touching your feet, where you're here. 
kind of tap the feet as you come up. If you want to make it a little more challenging, try something new. If you have a long enough arms, there's a press you can do instead, which is gonna help target the triceps a little bit more. So either traditional V-ups or the lifted V-up, which is instead of touching your toes, you're pressing your body off the ground as you come up. And it's pretty hard though. Anyway, 10 reps guys at your own pace. On you, go ahead. After those 10, we got some time off. And we're cycling through those sets again. We still got some time off, not rushing the next set. Take your time. Fifteen seconds. Remember, guys, we are giving a pause each time. Right, let's get that weight ready. Three, two, one, begin. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, triceps, ten reps on you when you're ready. And then V ups. Double leg V ups or that hip left one. Guys, get your 10 reps in when you're ready. Sets down, we only got one more of these. Take a deep breath, we got 45 seconds off. Oh, feels good. Deep breath in, slow breath out. Let's get that recovery down. Twenty-five seconds. Ten seconds. All right, grab that weight. Ready, set, begin. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Triceps when you're ready.
And then we got our V-ups. Hit your 10. Right. Deep breath. Core finisher, we're done today. This is going to be at your own pace. We're doing 12 reps. That will be six each side, depending on what crunch we're doing. We're going straight leg flutter kicks for 12, scissor kicks for 12. After scissor kicks, we're going sprinter crunch for 12, which is gonna be six each side. We're gonna go through that for two sets, a quick break between, a quick break after sprinter crunches, and then we're done. So, flutters, lock your legs out straight. We're trying to separate your thigh. The higher you can split your gap, the, uh, the harder these get. Scissor kicks, keep the feet low. It's six each side, and then sprinter crunches. Opposite arm, opposite leg, drive your knee up towards your chest. All right. Let's get it done. For those flutters, pin yourself down, legs locked out, ready, set, and go. And switch to scissors, wide, slow and big. And then we have the scissor switches, I'm sorry, the sprinter crunch. All right. Take a quick breather when you're done those 12. We have one more set and then we're done for the day. Once you guys get your breath under control, let's go ahead and get into the next rep. We're going flutters to start when you're ready. Scissors. And sprinters. Nicely done today. We're gonna do a little bit of some stretches before we get out of here. Let's go wide knees. Press your head back through your arms. Take a deep breath. Reach your arms to the left and back to the right. Afterwards, let's go into a half kneeling position. Pull those hips forward. You can even sink your arms in front of you if you can. To that sprinter's lunge. And switch. All right, guys. Have a good rest of your day. Good lift.